Hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So I made this isometric uh, uh, drawing and I want to share with you my learning process of it. So first let's uh, open up a new document and uh, I will make it 400 by 400 pixels in pixel, I'm sorry. My headset is a and uh, the first thing I will use uh, um, line segment tool to make a rectangular grid and press here the rectangular grid I want to I want to make it exactly cover the page so 400 the width is 400 by 400 and how many divider we want to have? I want to have nine dividers. This is one of the mass questions that uh, I always have with the students. You cut uh, a piece of wood into two, two pieces in five minutes. How many do you cut in uh, cut three pieces? It's not just uh, uh, by because you cut into two pieces takes only one time. <laughs> I will not spend too much time there. We align it to the center so that you can see. I divide it into nine parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine dividers altogether, 11. Uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines but we have 10 blocks so this is one of the mass uh, um, mathematical thinking you think about so each of these is actually 40 40 40 40 so I want to make this into a grid so go to view and uh, guide make guides so this becomes a guide now i open up a new layer add up a new layer red color it's okay i do not mind whatever color and we can work on this second layer without worrying about if we mess around with the first layer so I want to make a rectangle that covers this page and right in the middle. How do I do it? Go to rectangle, rectangle, um, rectangle tool and the width is 80 and the height is also 80. It actually takes two squares. See, it is right in the middle. If you want to uh, align it in the middle that is perfect and I try to avoid using my hand because I do not trust my hand in my class in my math class I always say do not trust your hand do not trust your eyes trust the number trust the calculation so I did the calculation I do not trust my hand I trust the calculation okay so this one we will go to object and transform we rotate it rotate it 45 degree once we make it 45 degree we will rotate it uh, we will <coughs> transform again and this time transform we will scale it how do we scale it we make the horizontal the height is still the same height uh, the, the width is still the same width but the height is actually um, is actually smaller it's uh, root 3 over 3 so you use the square root of 3 divided by 3 is 57.735%. Now let's take a look. And this one, we make sure the degree is 
here is 30 degree, here is 60 degree, this is 90 degree, because we did the calculation. Okay, so we have this. This is isometric. Why? Because this is 120 degree, 120 degree, 120 degree, right? If you divide 360 into three equal parts, each part is 120 degree, right? And isometric in is a Greek word, I think. It's a, the word origin, iso, means the same. Metric is measure, measurement, same measurement. The three parts, we make it the same measurement to, to uh, explain 3D relation with 2D shape. So this one, we copy-paste, we copy-paste, and what we are going to do, we copy paste, we will rotate it. And instead of rotate, I do not trust my hand, I trust the number. We go to transform, object transform, rotate. Transform, rotate. How many degree we rotate? We rotate 60 degree. Let's take a look. So this is 60 degree, this line become exactly vertical. So put it here. That is the right one. Okay, so we copy paste this one again, copy paste. And this time we will rotate to the other side. So the rotation will be um negative 160 degree N uh, negative 60 degree i'm sorry i was thinking about other things transform rotate let's do negative 60 degree you actually should be able to do 30 degree because it's a it's a negative 60 degree uh oh Next 60 degree. Now let's take a look. See, it becomes this. We can move it here. Now it becomes a perfect shape, 3D shape. And now we will put in the color because it snapped to point. So by just doing this, I can make uh, the color more. Um, I can make it. Uh, um, snap to exactly the right point. So this one, let's assume the sun comes from the top of us. We will choose this color as the darkest color. This is pretty dark. And uh, this is the outline. We need to make outline no color and make the surface dark color. Uh, no. A uh, lightest color, light. And this one, the second one, is on the left side. We will make it a little bit light, but not so light. So we will choose this color. Good. And this side, the darkest side, we will choose the darkest color. So this three, three, it's flat shape. It's flat shape. And we make it look 3D. And if we want to do this one, we will copy, paste, put it aside. We always leave one on the side so that we, if we mess around, we can always make it uh, 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 a copy. So we bring it so we can have two. Uh oh. I forgot how to do this copy paste. See. C 
Non, ti, no, this is not. Ti, no, ti, no. Ti, no, mm, mm, mm. Okay, anyway. So this time we will select the three of them. Oh, oh, don't move, don't move, don't move. We will select the three of them. Copy paste. See, come on, we another one. And move it here. So, uh oh. What is going on? Maybe because this one, this one, okay. Move it aside. What is going on? Come on, see. Ah, yeah. We bring one more layer. Okay. Command C, command V, command C, command V. Move it here good command c command v move it here before we move we should make sure okay command c command v we move it on top of it right and we need to bring it to the front. Otherwise, it is behind this one. The, 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 the lower one is in the front. So object, arrange, bring to front. Now it's better. Command C, Command V. Do another one. We can stack together. And this one, we still need to object, Arrange, bring it to the front, bring to the front. So this way will be good. And it does not look good because of the black line covers up a little bit. So you can select all and make sure the color, the feel is no feel. So you can see they are stacked, three layers stacks up together. Okay. And um, and uh, we do not want to see the line. The line is becomes kind of a, a not so pleasant for our eyes. Oh, we do not close off the second layer. We close off the first layer. So now you can see it looks beautiful and elegant. Of course, you can combine them together uh, into one shape. It's your choice, but just by using number. Let's see. I have tried a long time, and all these does not stack together beautifully. But by using number, it really stacks beautifully with not seem just perfect. Trust number. Trust mathematic. Never ever trust your hand, never ever trust your brain. It is not trustworthy. Number is the president of the world. <laughs> Gugu for president. <laughs> bye bye, friends. Now let me keep on playing around. I'm happy. All I started doing this isometric is because I want to do, um, uh, I want to pl plan some worksheets for 3D, um, 3D mathematics to prepare my worksheets. Now it comes out good, I'm happy and uh, I'm no longer a math teacher but uh, I learned a new skill and I am proud of it. <laughs> I'm happy for this. I'm very grateful so that I can learn something new. Bye-bye, friends.